Yo, what's up guys? Are you ready to talk about the level 50 to 60 leveling range? Let's get started. So, we're going to start with Classic and work our way forward up to whatever the latest expansion. And Classic itself obviously isn't going to have a lot of choices for 50 to 60 because Classic tops out at level 50. So, this pretty much just leaves us with like the revamp zone. We have like a Soul C that comes out. I can't remember when that comes out. Maybe during Eldon that one comes out. Um, but I'm not even going to go over that because by the time that's out, it's not an ideal level zone. But if you are interested in Soul C, just check it out on the website. And what, what we, I do want to talk about, though, is Temple of Kha'Zix Thule. Um, I, I believe this revamps in uh, Planes of Power. I'm not 100% sure because I don't remember exactly when it unlocked when I was playing. But I found a patch note here. It says, the Temple of Kha'Zix Thule will now turn into the Cursed Temple of Kha'Zix Thule, which is like the revamp version. When planes of power unlocks that's a patch note from back on february 2018 so unless it's changed since then i'm going to go ahead and just go with planes of power on this and if you take a look at the actual level range for this zone it's mostly 55 to 60 you're going to want to be in the high 50s here now a lot of people don't really like this zone because there's a lot of healers there's a lot of like mobs that cast stuff it's easy to get trains sometimes lizards can like heal themselves heal each other through walls and things like that but the good part of this zone is there's a lot of decent loot that drops here, like Shield of Striving. There's like some mana regen boots, and there's like a quickie inv invis versus animal ring. So there's a lot of decent loot here. So if you have a strong group, you can come over here and get some experience. And you don't even have to stay till 60. You can stay a little bit higher if you want. But I wanted to throw this in because I did think it's worth noting. But just remember that it may be more difficult than your average zone. Well, cousin, that's super amazing. I can't believe you said that. So... In case you guys don't know, if you don't know where the leveling setup guide is on the website, go up here to the top right, go down to zone leveling guide, and there is a map for every zone in the game. Just click on a map, and you can see the level of the NPCs for each area of every zone in the game. Moving on to Kunark, everybody knew Chardock was going to be at the top of the list. This is a no-brainer. There's tons of loot, tons of mobs. It's a huge zone. It's good from the mid-40s, probably high-40s. All the way to level 60 it's just an awesome awesome place to be if we get the map pulled up and you can kind of see an idea of the level ranges here i got a star for the whole zone because you can just be wherever and get good xp uh, the tunnels are 51 to 55 the zone in is going to be the lower part of the zone and then you got like the path from the zone in you'll see that's kind of high 40s too but basically anywhere in the back of the castle the tunnels the courtyard this is all going to be mid to high 50s in terms of npc level so you can just grind out to level 60 here and everybody knows about this so let's just keep moving to the next zone another place that's often overlooked is charduck b now there's a couple reasons that it's overlooked number one is it's just plain simply out of the way but the bigger reason is it doesn't actually come out until eldon so you have to be on the eldon expansion and you have to come all the way down to chart to get here but if you're leveling up alts or something this might be a, a fun different spot for you to try out and especially if you have an enchanter because there's a lot of stuff in here you can charm and if I remember correctly, there's a uh, name you can charm in the castle. Not Coral Cusp, but there's like another name that you can charm in there. And I think it hits for like 300 or 400, maybe even 500, something like that. And yet, if you have that thing charmed, you can uh, kill mobs in this zone pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, so it's not, not, not the best zone in the game, but maybe something different for you guys who like to try out different things. And if we get the map pulled up... You'll see over on the east side, most of the stuff is like in the low 50s. And then as you get further back into the castle over here, a lot of it is going to be in the high 50s and even even like level 60. So maybe you can stay here to like level 61 or 62. Um, but yeah, just start up B, maybe something different for you guys who like to do different things. Another option for the level to 50 to 60 range is the revamped version of Droga. A lot of people don't think about this because again, it's kind of out of the way like Charduck B is. And also, it doesn't unlock until Eldon comes out. So, you know, by the time it comes out, you're going to have a lot of different options. But uh, if you're looking for something different to do, this might be a fun place to be. There's not a lot of people here. And the mob level is actually fairly consistent. It's going to be right in between that level 50 to 60 range. Uh, if you look at the map, level, the map of the level range, most of this stuff here, it's just the whole zone's basically kind of the same level. The, the zoning area is a little bit lower, but... If you're here like in the mid 50s, you're gonna see some reds, you're gonna see some blues, but most of that should be right there in that sweet spot. Even con, yellow con, things like that. All right, so let's talk about Subolus. Everybody knew this was gonna be in here. It's one of the most iconic zones in the game. I'm not even gonna run over there because everybody knows what it looks like. You don't need me to show you. 
Um, but generally, the highest level area of the zone is going to be the Juggernauts and the Reets. Uh, the Crypt is also fairly high. There's lots of good loot down in the Crypt. Uh, you can do the Mushrooms, which are low 50s. And the Fungi King spawns there. And you're going to be want to be careful here because a lot of those Mushrooms can heal. Um, but that's another higher level area. And most of the Frogs are going to be like high 40s to uh, low 50s. And again, all these different areas all drop different loot. So really your best bet here is like either find a camp open if you're like kind of pigeonholed in the what camps are only only the only camps that are open or just like pick a piece of loot out of the zone you're going for and just go camp that. Uh, you're going to get some decent XP wherever you're at. Uh, yeah, so Sebelis, no brainer here. Um, let's move on to Vilius next. All right, big surprise. We're over here in Velcator's castle and best places for level 50s actually aren't going to be the spiders it's more like mid 40s to high 40s uh, once you start getting into the level 50 range you're going to want to move in a little bit further um, the two choices are you can either come over here to the tents or you can go down below these ramps um, into the basement and do the two kobold camps and those two camps are good for like the low 50s and then once you start getting into the high 50s um, you're going to want to come all the way back here to the castle um, most there's like a bunch of you see like these gargoyles here these are like level 52 55 and the stuff here is just going to be generally be into the uh, mid 50s uh, there's two popular spots to camp out uh, one of them is called outer castle and typically you'll be standing like right your group will be right here and you're going to pull to here and if you want to see where i'm at on the map you can kind of see here's the castle layout and then you generally your group probably going to be right around here somewhere and you can just pull all this stuff around here. You can also go inner castle. That's your group can really kill fast. You can actually kill both outer and inner castle uh, with one group. And typically, the people will just sit around he sit here, like along the wall, or maybe they'll sit around here near the staircase or something. And there's just like golems and gargoyles all over the place in here. So uh, those are the two best camps. And you'll see some of these guys are actually all the way up to 59. And these destroyer guys they actually hit pretty going on with my uh, hot cue uh, they actually um, can hit pretty hard so be careful if you see those destroyers um, but other than that and also Velcator the sorcerer is down here so make sure if you can actually run by his room and be safe but if you open it and he's up uh, he will aggro you um, he's not up right now so uh, yeah so those are the uh, main camps for Velcators everybody knows this is a great zone all right I was running to the next zone and I found Kel Dragadar blah 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 up Let's kill him. Let's see if we can get a cloak of uh, crystalline waters. Hoo oh man, he's got a lot of health. Oh man, what do we get? Oh, there it is, dude! Cloak of crystalline waters. We're rich. All right, last but certainly not least, for Vilius, we are in Siren's Grotto, and this is really good for level 50, 260, all the way up there. Uh, this is going to be a pretty heavily camped zone. There's lots of good loot here. There's like a uh, illusion mask in the back. You can get haste belts here. And there's just mobs all over the place. Now, generally, people don't camp like here in the beginning uh, with like these horses and stuff. Uh, you can if you want. But some of the better spots are here with these big old, big old oaf guys. Uh, they're like level 51. And then as you get further down, there's like some sirens and stuff down here. Uh, you can come down all the way down this tunnel. And there's just like sirens everywhere once you get out of this water. Uh, I don't remember my way around here too well. Actually, it looks like somebody's here already camping all this. So, is anybody in the zone? Yeah, there's a guy in the zone right now killing everything. But uh, typically, there's going to be like sirens everywhere right here. Uh, but like I said, it's heavily camped. People want stuff from here. Oh, yeah. So, here's like a uh, one of the sirens I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, so this is good all the way to level 60. Uh, get a group here if you can. You get some pretty good loot. All right, so starting off 50 to 60 in Luckland, we're at Greg's End. This is one of the best zones in the game. You're going to want to have a group here in Era and probably even in Planes of Power as well until you get really, really geared. Uh, most people who are in this zone are in groups, and you probably want to start maybe coming around 52 or 53. And you can stay all the way to like the low 60s, probably like 61, 62. It's going to get pretty slow up in that level range, but you can do it. Um, I'm kind of on a lower level side of the zone right now. And you'll see these guys are kind of like 53 to 55, even on the lowest end. So, uh, yeah, make sure you have a group. In regards to power leveling, you can power level here pretty well in later expansions once you outgear it. But if you're really mass power leveling fast, the mobs will eventually be kind of spread out. So you're either going to run out of mobs or you're going to have really uh, long pools for your pooler. If we take a look at the map, 
you'll see that the right and the left side of the zone are kind of like the two lower level ends. The, the, the mobs there will be like 53 to 55. And then the highest level part of the zone is kind of here in the middle. And this is where you can grind up to 60. Um, but yeah, Greg's End is one of the best zones. It's a really good experience here. A zone I really, really love for power leveling is Maiden's Eye. Um, you can group here as well in the low 50s. It's a pretty decent area. Um, for power leveling, it's so awesome because there's just mobs all over the place. And it's like a big open field. So if you're like on live or later in the game, I love coming here for maybe like, oh, 45, if I'm power leveling, mind you. So if my guy I'm power leveling is maybe like 44 to 45, or as soon as I can start landing AE spells, all the way up to like 55 or 56, you can power level here really fast by pulling all this stuff. Um, also the Vex stall piece uh, drops here off of like some of these guys, there's a PH for it. Let's see, here's the seer. I think this guy might drop it. There it is. So we got the Vex stall piece right there. How easy was that? And yeah, so Bane's eye is really good for the low 50s. And once you're in the high 50s, you're not going to want to be here. But uh, yeah, another option. So some people even can, you can solo here too. A lot of people just stand up here on the wall and pull stuff up to them. So if you're like maybe a necro or somebody who can solo really well, just come over here, you can solo up there. And um, you're going to find a lot of groups here too, because people are going to be looking for their uh, Vexstall piece as well. So and Maiden's Eye isn't too shabby. And if you're power leveling, it's really, really good. All right, so we're over here in Temple. And this isn't like really like the best place to get XP, but it's pretty decent. And also you can farm your uh, Bane weapons while you're here. You can farm Emp keys while you're here. And this is gonna be a really hot zone for a while. There's also some other miscellaneous cool items here. Like there's an illusion mask. And what else is down here? That's all I can think of off the top of my head. But um, the two most common places to camp are Commander 1 and Commander 2. And there are guides for those on the website. So if you're not uh, familiar with where those spots are at, just check out the keys section in the website and you'll find it there um, another spot you can go to is actually down here in the basement and this is that down here is going to where you're going to be farming the uh the emperor bane weapons at the piece for it and i think it's on this side is it this side e no it's not that side it's over here so when you when you come over here the there is a skeleton camp and there's a, this is a really good spot to get EXP if you like have uh, versus undead spells. It's really good. Necromancers can charm down here. Uh, obviously, enchanters can as well. And you just kill all this stuff till you start getting your keys. Now, these uh, some of the some of the names do drop some other miscellaneous loots. I think some of the loots are okay. They're not too bad, but they're kind of rare. Um, the, the good ones are kind of rare, but I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. There's a uh, there's a throwing pouch, and I think there's one other item too that's kind of notable, but yeah, you can come down here and camp here, or you can kind of camp uh, at Commander 1 or Commander 2 um, if you want to get some uh, two things done at one time. So I'm over here in Fungus Grove, and this isn't like the best EXP spot in the world, but it is one maybe if you can't find a group at one of the more ideal zones. Um, up here in the northwest, there's a lot of lower 50 mobs, and it seems like I personally have never leveled here in that level range, but it just seems like there's enough mobs to support a group out here. And there's also, um, you can go into the caves down there, you might even have enough mobs down there to support two groups down there. So you can have a lot of people there. Now, when you, if you're inside the caves, the Vexthal uh, key piece can drop in there. And also there's some mats for the, the uh, I think the Zero Bane weapon drops down there too. So it might be pretty camp down there um, during Luckland area or where people, when people are trying to get all the keys and everything. Um, but yeah, this might be a decent spot. And as far as power leveling, you probably can power level here. It seems like there's enough mobs to support it. We'll level these mushrooms. Yeah, so even these mushrooms are kind of like high 40s. Um, but if, if you're mass piloting really quickly, uh, you're probably going to run out of mobs. But there are a decent amount here. And if we just take a real quick glance at the map, you'll see this is basically the area you're going to want to hang out with, um, hang out in. And once you get to the high 50s, you're probably not going to want to be in Fungus Grove anymore. So another place that you're probably aware of is the Deep. Um, this used to be a really mass power level spot and they nerfed enchanter stun so it's not quite as easy to pull off anymore you're going to need more enchanters and uh, generally there's going to be less people uh, mass power leveling here which kind of opens up the zone a little bit and this is actually a really good um, zone to have a group in so if we take a look at the map you will see the right side of the zone on the east um, most of the mobs there are 47 to 51 and on the left side they're 50 to 55 um, there's still probably going to see a decent amount of people here, though, if people are farming the Vexthal shards, the shard drops here. Um, there's a shrink wand, 
think it's right here or somewhere back here. Uh, the Shrink Wand guy is back here as well. There's also a couple raids back here, so you're probably going to see a decent amount of people anyway in Era. But uh, if you can bring a group out here, um, pretty good spot. Probably all the way up to maybe like 58 or so, or as high as you feel comfortable. To round off our Luckland Zones, we have a Curler Caverns. Now we were over here for the uh, 40 to 50 guide, and we'll be talking about it here in the 50 to 60 guide too. Um, if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm actually down here on the south side of the zone. So if you look at the map, you go down here. Now to get to the 50 to 60 part, you're going to want to come over here and there's a statue right here of uh, Kadi Shah. You want to click on that and it's going to port you over to the other side of the zone. It looks like there's a guy right here right now. So you see he's level 58. It looks like he's probably just AFK botting to, to be honest. But um, yeah, so this is a good spot for 50 to 60. You can come in here. Uh, most of these mobs are all like in the mid 50s. And there's a ton of them and also a Vexstall key drops here. So, you know, if you're in era, group's probably recommended. I think some of these guys can heal, like maybe that Death Priest can possibly heal. Um, but if we just take a quick glance at the map, um, you'll see the main part of the zone is 40 to 46. And then once you click over, you'll be over here on the west part. And all the mobs here are 51 to 55. For level 50 to 60, the plane of power zones are kind of optional. It depends on like how far along your server is, whether or not you need a flag to zone in. Because eventually they remove the flag requirements for some of the zones. And also like if you're in a group and if you have, you're geared enough, because... Planes of Power is quite a bit more difficult than Shadows of Luckland, but if you're strong enough, out of the Tier 1 zones, typically Plane of Innovation is going to be your best bet. You can see here, there's, there's this really high mob, mob density in the zone. You're going to want to be up here, killing like all the mechanical type mobs up in here. You can kind of just like roam around and uh, dungeon crawl your way through here. And people use the mass power level here, but again, since they nerfed it, you're not going to see that as often. Maybe, maybe not at all. I don't know. But... Um, other than a plane of innovation, you can also go to justice, which is not really that great. You can go to plane of disease, which is like, okay, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. Or you can go to plane of nightmare, which is probably the second best uh, of these four here. And when you zone in, you're going to be right here. So you got like 51 to 53 on this side. You got 53 to 57. The Hoblock Goblin Caves are actually pretty decent, but it's good. Like I said, it's going to be quite a bit more difficult than like a Shadows of Luckland zone. So if you're like just starting off your first character or you guys are just like averagely geared, you're not like super raid geared or anything, um, I'd recommend staying out of Planes of Power until you're, you know, at least level 60 or you have some type of way where you can form a solid group in there because for the most part, if you kill really slow, you're not going to get as good experience as you would as if you went to an older expansion, got less XP, but you killed really fast. Okay, so for Legacy of Yakisha, we are over here and Crypt of Nadox and kind of on the east side of the zone over here is going to be a lower level like 40-ish area but as you get further to the west it starts to get into like the mid 50s and the breaking point between the low and high level mobs is kind of like right here in this lava pit here in the middle so you'll see like where I'm at now it's stuff's like uh, starting to get up to 48 49 that roamer is level 50 then as we start to get over here on this side of the lava pit you're going to start seeing more stuff like in the mid 50s. So that guy's 50. There's still 46 though. But down here, you'll see like 53, 53, 51. And this is pretty much as high as this zone goes for the most part. And this is actually a really good mass power leveling area right here. I'll come down here every once in a while. Power level a character like on live. Because you can like pull all those dudes. And you can pull all these guys all at once. And just do like a huge damage shield pull. It's pretty nice. And you'll see these guys are even like level 58 even. So you can, you know, potentially, I guess, if you want it, you can get up to level 60 here. Um, but again, this is a pretty late expansion for that. But the legacy of Yukisha is actually, or Yukesha, whatever, is actually a really good um, expansion overall, just for experience. Like a lot of these zones, they seem like they were designed as like an extra place for people to get uh, EXP at. Lastly, we got Hates Fury over here in Legacy of Yukisha. And this is like, I would run around, but it's just a giant boat. It all looks the same. Nobody really cares. We'll bring the map up. Boom, here's the map. And over here, you got 51 to 55. This is kind of where you zone in. On this side of the boat, you got 53 to 57. Then you can click over to this side using one of the little ladder thingies. It's about the same thing over here, 52 to 57. I guess I should mention Gates of Discord and Omens of War. I personally have never tried to level over these zones like in the 50s. 
Uh, I just have a bunch of one ratings next to them for like the lower level zones because generally the mobs are going to be hitting harder and the layout of these zones is kind of crap. So you're gonna, probably going to be like pulling up to a wall or something like that. I've seen people do uh, pulls here. They always seem to be like pulling really slow. So um, you can, if you're interested in trying these out, you can. Um, I have maps for them here. So if we go to like uh, Kunami or whatever, this is 51 to 57. You can click on that. And pretty much the whole zone is kind of the same level range. And then you got some 51s to 55s right here. And then if we click on Rewi, Ra, Ra, Rewi, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, the whole zone is kind of just like the same general level. So maybe it's a good spot. But if you want to try them out, they are here on the website. And the same thing for Owens of War. Uh, the Bloodfields is actually okay. I did uh, used to level here back in the day. Like one time I think I did. I think it was actually decent XP. But if you want to try all these out, just try them for yourself. It's up to you whether you want to go this far or not. You know, most people, by the time they're, these expansions are out, they're already uh, level 70 or level 65 or whatever. And if they have alts, they're generally just going to use one of the earlier expansions anyway. But I thought I'd bring that up. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Please make sure to like the video if this was helpful. And please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.